this video we're going to do a Babolat Pure Strike 100. Uh, I will absolutely have to look up the year model on this. I'm going to lie to you and say I think it's probably a 2019. Maybe a 2020, but probably a 2019. Uh, or 18. Anyway, buck cap up. You'll have all the pure strike, pure strike, pure strike, pure strike down here. Babylon will be up, up. Uh, it will have pure strike 100 on the right hand side. And I've actually got some rackets tonight. And I got time. I'm going to do a series of one pieces for beginning stringers. But not on this one. This is two piece. And this one we are doing with Gamma Ocho XP17 at 58 pounds. Get my string ready. We're going to start in the head. Hopefully my phone battery will last long enough to get all these videos done tonight. I plug the microphone into it so I can't charge it at the same time. Or I would. soft string I do use my Diablo Diablo we will do three pulls on this side thread the next two just to get them up out of the way and I'll probably have a whole bunch of string because this is just a set so tip for people watching that haven't watched all my others and picked up all those tips if you're cutting string out of a set uh, I always cut the crosses off of it first because it doesn't take as much string to cut to do the crosses. And uh, well, that'll always leave you plenty, even if that's an oversized or an 1820. If you cut the crosses off first, it always leaves enough string for the mains. If you're doing it as a hybrid string, I will just go ahead and cut it in half. Unless, there's always an unless, unless I know that that hybrid is being used for the crosses. And I will cut the hybrid off as the cross, because it will be shorter. And then the other half that is left over, if, uh, if it is used in a mains at a later date, you will have plenty. But if it's used that as a cross at a later date, You'll still have plenty. That's what I do. Kind of sounds silly, but that's what I do. This is number six. Skipping grommet number seven in the head and the throat.
Again, we're skipping number seven grommet, head and throat. We are also skipping grommet number nine, throat and head. We got all kind of string left over. We are going to tie off grommet number eight, which is the second main string from the edge. guys that are just beginning trying to figure out stringing patterns and whatnot for specific brackets. Four through four. Well, if you've been stringing a while, you know how to string a pure strap. Again, tying off on grommet number eight, which is the second main string from the edge. Snip your tails. Each crosses. Racket handle away from you. I don't even know how I'm lined up. Yeah, racket handle away from you. Racket handle away. We're going to start in the second grommet that we skipped. That would be the second cross. It is a blocked hole. This is a soft string. Well, obviously I'm going to have trouble getting it in there. That wasn't that bad. We're going to go under the second main from the edge. finish over the second main on the opposite side. I'm going to make sure my bevel facing down so I go underneath the string on the outside. Because I also, when I come to the first cross, I want it to go under that string as well. And you're going to start over the third main string from the edge. And the reason I started the way I did, I will show you here in a second, after I sharpen up that tip a little bit. under and under is at the head here you do not want to get a crossover so there's a string blocking this hole there's a string blocking this hole so you want the cross string to go either on top or below whichever way you decide that way you do not get a crossover we will start under the outside main that third cross We'll finish over and that's the way it's going to go from here all the way down to the first skip.
finish over. Fifth cross wove woven. We are going to tie our knot on the first, so we're going to do a pull on the first string, the first cross. Make sure, leave yourself a little gap between the clamp and the number six grommet, which is the third main string. And I'll do these little individual racket tiles as long as I can, but I'm assuming next month, uh, once I start getting busy again, I probably won't have time to really do them. Tail. And now we just start going down the racket. My one pieces that I'm going to do, they're not going to be all individual rackets, obviously they're going to be individual rackets, but they're not, they're just going to be kind of generic. This will be main, with two skips at the top, one skip at the top, that both start from the bottom, and one that starts from the top. And they're all going to be 16, 19 rackets. This is a 1619. I'll make sure I put that in the description. And I <laughs> about to sneeze. under, weave across, finish over, all the way up until we get to our skip. could figure out where I was going. I'd go mess with the thermostat, I'd turn my fan on, but I mean, I'd just get hot. I realized yesterday my, we had our house remodeled a little over two years ago and the vent's been closed ever since then. 
Oh, I didn't have AC blowing in here anyway. So it's nice and cool in here tonight. To our skip at the bottom, we're going to start over the second cross or the second mainstream. Last cross, once you add your knot tension, if you add knot tension, and we're going to start under the third main string on the edge. to tie off right next to that grommet and we that is number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I lied to you, number seven. Nope, gotta be number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth grommet, which is the second mainstream. Three crosses. And there you go. That is, again, probably a 2019 Pure Strike. 